you let that guy get no, away? I misunderstood, okay? How can you misunderstand? Does Tony How? normally go around no. beating strangers to a pulp uh, for what, no you reason? You really want me to answer that? Well, Come maybe on. they deserve it. Michelle, it was an honest mistake. Hey, How hey, could I it, know? At least you weren't hurt, okay? Michelle, Danny, she wasn't hurt. He didn't get what he wanted. Good thing is, we know what he looks yeah, like. And what so did he want? He had been related to those guys who ransacked the lighthouse. What? I told you, two guys broke into the lighthouse the other day. You told me that you were making that up, that it didn't happen. I lied. Michelle, you knew about this? I was with her, yeah. We walked in on her. Well, who are these guys? They seem like pros to you. You can talk to me, all right? You don't have to talk uh, to Tony on my behalf. I can take care of myself. Yeah, what if you're wrong about that, Michelle? Then I'll eat crow, and I'll come groveling back to you, begging for your help. Will that make you feel better? No, what will make me feel better is if you're safe. I can't deal with this. I cannot deal with this. I'm just going to pack up my stuff, and then we're going to go our separate ways. Need, uh, need help, Michelle, putting the stuff in the car? No, I can manage on my own. Okay, well, then I'm going to go make a call, see if we can get a lead on this guy, all right? Danny, lock the door when you leave. Don't be mad at him. He didn't do anything wrong. What? What's the matter? Did you get hurt? Uh, I fell down in the driveway when I was running after them. Let me see. No, I'm fine. Let me see. I am Michelle, fine. let me see. There. See? Sit down. Sit. It is fine. Oh, come on. It's just a scrape. Oh, you're soon... tougher than that. As soon as you're finished that, I'm gonna get my stuff together and I'm gonna go. If you'll permit it. Look, Michelle, about the permit. When I arranged that for you, yeah, at first, there was a part of me that wanted to impress you. Can you blame me? But... After seeing how important this lighthouse is to you, how much it makes you happy, I want to help you. Yeah, with the little added perk of me feeling beholden to you. No, not beholden. I just want you to know that you can count on me. Me. And not Tony. You know, Tony has been great to me. And I have to count on him because he's my business partner. Michelle, I think it's uh, a little more than that for Tony. Well, maybe. Maybe the fact that he saved my life, maybe that deepens the connection for him. Maybe for me, too. But anything else is just in your head, okay? Look, I don't blame you for what happened in the warehouse. So you gotta stop blaming yourself, all right? Michelle, I can't stop caring about you. I can't just do that. Good, good. I don't want you to stop caring. I just... I just need you to give me the freedom to make my own mistakes, just like you do. It's fair, isn't it? Yeah, that's fair. As long as one of those mistakes isn't Tony. <sighs> okay, I see. I see what this is. This is like a... What? Hero fixation thing, right? What? You couldn't save me from the fire, and Tony did. So now in your head, I must want Tony. No, and then we have this Michelle. bond together, so it makes it even worse for you, right? No, Michelle, I... no, wrong. The truth is, you do turn to Tony first. You do. Not because I have a thing for him, but because he doesn't have expectations that I can't meet. Fine, I get that. I do. But do you have to continue it any further? Do you have to open a club with him? It's because I have to get away from you. Because you are driving me crazy. And, you know, and then you go and you get this, this building permit so I can make light happen. And I think, okay, well, maybe we can be close to each other. You know, he understands me. He supports me. And then I mm -hmm. find out you actually don't. No, I do. I did. Part of me, yes, part of that was to hold on to you. But it's not anymore. It's not. <laughs> oh, Zoe, you learned your lesson then? The harder you hold on to me, the farther I run. See? No hands. All right, look. This is going to be good for us. OK? Leaving this house behind with all the memories. 
We can start from scratch, right? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna actually be able to get to know you without all the baggage and without all the history. And I really, I would like it. No, I would actually, I would love it. If you would get to know me too. Just mean I'm not on your bad side anymore. I guess we can be friends. Yeah. <laughs> but I want you to be friends with Tony, too. I want you to find a way and make that happen for me, please. I'll try. Okay, I'll try. But, Michelle, look, I gotta be honest with you. I'm not crazy about you living all alone in the lighthouse. You've had these guys attack you. We don't know who they are yet. Tell me I'm being unreasonable. No, you're not. You're not. I will be careful, I promise you. Let's just get our stuff together and we can go. Michelle. I just want you to know that if you ever need my help, I'm just a phone call away. And I'm not talking about necessarily coming to the rescue. I just, I mean, to, you know, make you a mojito on a sunny afternoon. You know how to make a mojito? Well, it's too bad you forgot that. Yeah, do I know how to make a mojito? The secret is all in the mint. You gotta have a ton of it and just a splash of club soda. Do I know how to make a mojito? Please. Ready? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Take him one last look. It's weird, because this house really never meant anything to me. And now that we're leaving, I, I realize how much it, it should have meant. Well, it's okay. I'm sorry I spoiled your dream, Danny. Hey, that's all it was. A dream. I make new ones. Better ones. Me too. Thank you.